I'm Knoll's fan, and today I'm gonna talk about injuries. More specifically, my injuries. I mean, why would it be anyone else's? Just on with the video. So I was nine, maybe ten, and I was on this camping trip, and they had like this big balloon thingy, but it was on the ground. Um, here's a picture. Like this thing. Eh, I love them. They're super awesome. So I had a friend, let's call her Sam. She knew a dog, and I like dog, and I like dogs, so I went over. But there were no owner, and I, being a good kid, knew you weren't supposed to touch the dog without the owner saying so. But she just went over. She just went over and pet it. I was like, I don't. Uh, I just sat a little way. I did not trust that dog, and I believe me, I had a good reason not to trust that stupid dog. There's no dog there, but I'm imagining a dog there. So I just sat there when all of a sudden that stupid dog came charging at me. But this, and it bit me right there, but the story doesn't end there. No, no, no. It did not want to let go. It just kept being on my lip. And me being a little kid, younger kid, and being freaked out, I just, I just punched it. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I'm gonna be imagining to punch you, okay? That was how I punched the dog. I'll stop annoying you. And it let go, and I just kind of stood there for a few moments. Just, oh, I'm bleeding. Probably get that checked out. I started crying, of course, because it hurt. And I just went over to my parents. I didn't really want to annoy them, so it went kind of like this. Just imagine there being a tent. Hey, um, Mom? I'm, I, I, I think it, I think it's bleeding. And uh, 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 uh. Just, just sure, Mill. Why are you crying? Oh my fucking god, everybody! The kid is bleeding. Oh my god! Everybody, the kid is bleeding. The kid is bleeding. Everybody panic because the motherfucking kid is bleeding. The kid is bleeding. Da 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 da. da. Call the doctor. Call the doctor. Ah! Oh, for hell of a bit, hell of a bit. Oh, oh god. Ow. Oh. Ow, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. And I just said, oh my fucking god, my tailbone. I hurt my tailbone recently. That's what happened, totally. Um, okay, yeah, that was totally what happened. Not like I was screaming like a little baby. Just saying, mom. Like, but it's bleeding and just crying and crying and crying and they all they, they all panicked but not like that back to the story so they just took wipes and everything they tried to wipe it off look around the internet for the doctor to call the hospital to say hey we have a girl so you remember Sam right she just called 112 with the Danish coalition of 911 and they came. So they came, but n because she called 112, not only the an ambulance came, the police came as well. This is one of the times I'm very happy I live in Denmark and not America. That would have costed a lot of money. But I was freaked out. I don't remember much of it, but my mom told me what happened. She told me that I basically wouldn't say anything else but don't kill the dog. And I'm guessing it was quite annoying because they actually had to do checkups to see that like my pulse wasn't going crazy or something. So I'm guessing it went quite like this. Flashback. Relax, relax girls, nothing's gonna happen to you. So where do you live? Don't don't kill the dog. Um okay we're not. So what's your name? D please don't kill the dog. Could you please answer my question? Don't kill the dog. Just let her die, okay? The next thing I remember is being in the hospital, and they stitched me right up. They, they didn't. We had a lot of trouble. I have a slight phobia of needles. It's not like I ran away trying while they, I, it bled, bled everywhere. It's not like I, I ran in on somebody else that was almost dying. Nothing like that. Uh, okay, and I spent the next, what, three, four months just um, sitting and doing nothing. 
But I looked so badass, but I wasn't allowed to do anything because the wound would break. So it was so fun. I also spent a lot of time kissing my dog Murphy. Yes, you're a good dog. Telling him how good a dog he is because you didn't bite me. Mwah. I love you. I'm, go I'm gonna leave you alone now. You bye bye. <laughs> but you know what the best part of the story is? You wanna know? You, you, you are you sure? They didn't kill the dog, so I'm a perfect girl that literally just saved a dog's life. Can I get in touch with NASA? Can a, a, an, blah, blah, can all animal protection shows give me a lot of money? So because I, I'm the, I'm the queen, I'm so awesome. <laughs> I I also still love dogs. They're super cute. I only did one dog. Changed my opinion of dogs. They're so adorable. But uh, you know what I found find very funny now when people are like. Be like oh my god I, I'm so scared of dogs I can just be like do you have an actual reason and they're just like N no and I'll, I'll and I my favorite thing to do is just say tell them coward I got bit by dogs twice and I still love them you know nothing oh and by the way I am um, I was also bit by a dog when I was younger this time I actually told, asked the person, and I, I still have a scar somewhere around here. Okay, so that was my worst injury, uh, injury. I might get even worse ones in the future. I'm very good at hurting myself. I have a lot of scars because of stupid stuff. I once tried in the water to see if a rock could make, like, could hurt me. If, if, if I, when I drop rocks underwater, if they could, like, hurt my feet. I, I have a scar from that. <sighs> How come I'm so stupid? I'm so stupid. You, you can see the scar right there and there. Like the line and then uh, you can't really see it. But like there too. All the way down here. That That's my scar. Okay, but... That's the story, and I don't know how this is gonna look until I edit it. I tried a new format where I kind of did storytelling a little more and visuals, and I got a new editing app. So we'll see how it turns out. But um, thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you later. Bye!